Hello YouTube, welcome to the video, and today I want to talk about the changes and buffs that I would personally make to Phoenix and where I think he can fit in with the current character pool and meta in the game. So if you like the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. I want to do more commentary videos in the future. And yeah, let's get right into it. And by the way, happy Pride Month everyone. And I'm also doing a merch giveaway on my Twitch this month. Winner will be announced in July start of July so if you want to be entered into the merch giveaway just join my twitch chat um, drop a lurk watch the stream doesn't matter earn channel points and you can turn those channel points into a chance to win some Yeti merch links down in the description for my twitch and my merch store enjoy the video all right so first of all I'll talk about the gameplay here the gameplay was actually I was on fizzy stream and we were doing a custom 4v4 game with some other really cool people and streamers and I absolutely popped off playing Omen. And Omen is an interesting character, and you might ask while you're watching this, well, why wouldn't you use Phoenix gameplay? I didn't really want to play Phoenix, that's the honest answer. But, um, you know, Omen is a really interesting character because while Omen is a controller, Omen has a flash, Omen can teleport, Omen can do all these different things, and Omen is a pretty versatile character that can fit a lot of different roles on the team. And I think Omen's value really comes from the fact that if your initiator dies, but you still have that flash, you know, if, you know, if your duelist dies, Omen can entry. Omen has, you know, this toolkit where Omen can teleport and hit off angles and, and uh, use flashes and smokes to entry in unique ways and set up the team. And while I think Omen is very much a controller and should be played as a controller, Omen is a versatile character that fits into his own niche. And I think that's what Phoenix needs. Phoenix has a wall, a molly, uh, an alt that is pretty powerful, I think. Um, and the flash, obviously. And I think a lot of people talking about buffing Phoenix, because Phoenix is clearly one of the weaker agents in the game right now, and least played. They want to update the flash. They want to, they want to, they want the flash to be really good. And, well, I see why. I actually don't think that's where Phoenix needs a buff. Because if you make the Flash really good, Phoenix still doesn't have the util of someone like Ko or Sky, who also have Flashes, but have a lot more util to help the team. And Phoenix's wall is just kind of useless the way it is right now. And his molly, it's it's alright, but it's just a molly. It's, it can heal him, sure, but it's still just a molly. I think that with Util like a flash, a, a molly, and a wall. I think Phoenix needs to fit his own niche because he has that unique set of abilities. And so I think where Phoenix really needs a buff is his wall. His wall should be really, really strong. It should be bigger. It should be thicker with like 47 Cs. Like this wall is thick. All right. This wall is long. This wall lasts a long time. This wall curves like it already does, but. It's just so much better. And so Phoenix can kind of just be like this flex controller. And um, maybe teams, like pro teams that run two controller setups, maybe they run a Phoenix instead now. Um, make his wall really strong. I think that would that would really add him to the meta. And it's not the only change I think he needs. Because I think what makes Duelists really, really good is their movement. And Phoenix doesn't really have a movement buff. Yoru has TPs. Jet has dash and updraft. Um, Ray's has her satchels, uh, Neon has her sprint, uh, and Reyna has her, you know, her devour, you know, and all of those are movement buffs in different ways, and Phoenix doesn't have that. I mean, I guess you could argue Phoenix is alt, but eh, not really. He's, you know, his body is still tethered to the original spot, you know? He's just able to be more aggressive with a second life. That's not really a movement buff. And so I think Phoenix needs a movement buff, and I think it's really simple. His molly should work like a stimp beacon for him only. So it's not like a team stimp beacon, it's just a Phoenix stimp beacon. And I think that and people might think, oh, that's a really big upgrade, but I think it's just a really small upgrade that allows Phoenix to play more like a duelist and have that movement. And yeah, I, I just I just think that would make Phoenix those changes right there would make Phoenix a really balanced and a really unique character that would fit into his own role in the game. 
If you agree, let me know in the comments. If you disagree, let me know in the comments. Um, obviously, his flash could be upgraded a little bit as well, but I think those are the two main changes that he needs. Um, yeah, thank you for watching, and uh, yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye!